Our God and our Father, we want to appreciate you tonight. King of kings, we honor you and we adore you. Most high God, we appreciate you because you are an excellent Father. Thank you, Father, once again for this opportunity, the privilege you have given to us to gather before you again tonight. Thank you, Father, because your strength is made perfect in weaknesses. Thank you for your sustaining power. Thank you, Father, once again for a day like this, the day of resurrection. Lord, we are praying that tonight, O oh God, you will walk in our lives, you will walk in our spirit, you will walk in our soul. You will perfect everything that concerns us, even tonight, in Jesus' name. Gracious Amen. Father, we are asking and praying that, Lord, you will reach out unto all our sundry tonight by the power of your spirit tonight, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, manifest yourself in our midst, O oh God. All our brethren who are here to join, we are praying, O oh God of heaven, that, Lord, you will stir them up, you will quicken them, you will energize them, you will strengthen them, and move them, O oh God, so that they can join us at the appropriate time, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank in you, Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. 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 Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, you are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. 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 Your name is Yahweh. Oh, yes. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh, oh Yahweh, Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are a miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, thou joy of the Lord, oh is my strength, thou joy of God the Lord. Oh, he is my strength, thou joy of the Lord. He is my strength, thou joy of God the Lord. All oh, is my strength. The joy, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord, how oh, this my strength. Oh, yeah, I all know I need him. I'm I all know I need him. I'm I all know I need him. Agbarami, ayo no one, mi agbarami. Oh, ayo, ayo no one, mi agbarami. Ayo no one, mi 
appreciate the excellency of our God. We want to magnify him, the God that has sustained our life. Thus far, he preserved us all through from January to this time. What a great God. What a mighty God. What an excellent God. What a sovereign God. What a powerful God. We want to give him all the glory. Please, let's open our mouth this night. Amen. As you're just joining us, we want to honor God. We want to praise God. We want to lift up our God. We want to say, God, thank you very much. Please open your mouth. Let's appreciate it. I want to hear our voices, brethren. Let's open our mouth and praise him. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. Let's praise him. He deserves to be praised. He deserves to be worshipped. He deserves to be honored. He deserves to be magnified. Why don't you open your mouth and give him all the glory tonight? Let's thank him because of all his numerous and uncountable blessings. Open your mouth and bless him tonight. He's a wonderful God. He's a mighty God. He's a gracious God. He's a loving God. He's a powerful God. He's an almighty, he's the almighty and the all sufficient one. Open your mouth and bless him tonight. Bless him, bless him. Bless him tonight. Open your mouth. In every, in every, you know the language you know you can use to praise him. Please open your mouth and adore him. Let us praise him tonight. Let us magnify the Lord. Let's give him all the glory. Let's thank him and praise him. Let's worship God because he's a good God. He's a mighty God. He has led us thus far. Why are we not going to praise him? Show your gratitude unto the almighty God. Celebrate him, brethren. Celebrate him, pastors. Celebrate him, sisters. Celebrate him, brethren. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. Celebrate his presence. Celebrate his power. Celebrate his wonder. Celebrate his miracle. Celebrate all that he has done in your life, in your family. Why don't you open your mouth and begin to praise God tonight? Why don't you open your mouth and begin to give him all the glory? Let's worship God once again tonight. Let's thank him. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. All the glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man 
on high to give glory to himself. For the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on hand should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord, oh, to the Lord. All the glory must be to the Lord, to the Lord. For He is worthy of our praise. No man on hand should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord, unto the Lord. Be thou our glory, great peace he has done unto the Lord. Be the glory, great is the atom unto the Lord. Be the glory, great is the atom unto the Lord. Be the glory, great is the atom. Great is the atom. Great and peace he will do unto the Lord. Be the glory, great peace he has done. Amen. 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 We want to honor God Amen. once again, brethren. We want to adore him. We want to, we want to praise him. The God that has been keeping all our pastors on this platform. The God that has been keeping all our brethren, brothers and sisters who have been joining us in different places, some on the Zoom, some on the, uh, you know, on the conference call. We want to give all the glory to God. Is he talking about the strength he has been given unto us? Is he talking about his preservation? Is he talking about his protection? Is he talking about his provision? Is he talking about divine providence? Is he talking about the way God has been helping us in our journey of life? Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, thank you once again, O oh Lord, for every member on this platform, all our brothers, all our sisters, all our pastors. Please, let's give him all the glory. I want to hear you pray, my brethren. Open your mouth. Let's open our mouth and pray. This is not a, this is not a time of meditation. It's a time to pray. It's a time to honor God. It's a time to return the glory back to God. Please open your mouth and, and praise God. Let's worship God. Let's magnify the Lord. Let's adore Him because of all that He has done. Answer to all our requests in the time past. Even, even presently, how God has been answering all our prayers. Is this talking about the church of the living God in Chalotte? Is this talking about all our, you know, the global crusade? Is this talking about what God is doing in the church? He want to say, God, we are grateful. 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 Open your mouth and begin to celebrate God. Let's celebrate God. Let's celebrate His power. Celebrate His majesty. Celebrate His sovereignty. Celebrate Him because He's the great God. The God that has no rival. The God that has no competitor. The God that reigns and rules in the affairs of men. He's the all-sufficient God. He's the almighty God. Please open His mouth and begin to praise Him. His understanding is unsearchable. Why don't you praise Him tonight? The God that divided the waters of the Red Sea for people to pass through on it. I mean, for his children to pass on the dry ground. Why don't you give him all the glory? What a mighty God. What a powerful God. The God that does, that does wonders in heaven, wonders in, in, on the earth. Why don't you give him all the glory to life? Let's open our mouth and praise him. Let's thank him. Let's praise him. Magnify the Lord. Praise him. 
In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Please, are we hearing my voice? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. God bless you. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to lift up our voices once again. But before then, I want to read a passage of the scriptures. In Psalm 90. Please, if you have your Bible there, you can just go along with me. Psalm 90. I'm reading from Psalm 90. I want to read verse 10 and verse 12. Psalm 90, verses 10 and verse 12. It said, The days of our years are three years and ten. I mean, three is called years and ten. That is, a score is 20. 20 times 3 plus 10. That is 70. 70 years. And if by reason of strength they be four score, that is 20 times 4, that is 80 years. Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. For it is soon cut off and will fly away. Remember what the Bible said there? It said, Yet is their strength, labor, and sorrow. Now, verse 12. I want to understand the prayer here. It was, pray, it was the prayer of Moses. The man of God, a prayer of Moses, the man of God, the servant of God, the man that had close relationship with God, close affiliation with the Almighty God. He was so close to the Almighty God. A man that saw the backside of the Almighty God. A man that was so righteous. A man that was so pure. A man that was so holy. A man that God could defend. Even when Miriam and Aaron, they misbehaved. God told them, he said, look, if there is any prophet, I speak mouth to mouth. It is somebody like Moses, not like you, that I speak to you in dream or by, by vision. But I speak to Moses mouth to mouth. That is to tell you how close that man was to God. He was so close. He was a man after God's own heart. He was a man that, you know, he saw God, he saw the backside of God. Literally, I'm telling you. But do you know, in verse 12, he had this prayer to pray. He says, so, teach us to number our days. Teach us to, he was still able to pray that prayer. He said, God, I know one day I will leave this world. He, know one, he said, God, I know one day I will soon fly away. He, he said, God, one day. You are still going to take away my breath. But he prayed. He said, God, teach me to number my days. That we may apply our heart unto wisdom. That's what we are going to pray tonight. When they continue in verse 14, he said, Oh, satisfy us early with thy mercy. He was still begging God for mercy. He was still pleading with God for mercy. Because he knows he cannot do it all alone. He knows he cannot survive it all alone. He was asking God, he said, God, I, need, I want you to satisfy me with the abundance of your mercy. Why? That we may rejoice and be glad all our days. We want to pray tonight. We want to cry to God. We want to talk to the Lord. Looking at the way things are going in this end time, we want to tell the Lord. I want to tell you, many are losing their faith. Many are backing off from the faith. Many are going astray. Many are not even interested in God any longer. Many are becoming cold. Many are becoming weak. Many are becoming dry. Many are becoming empty. Many are just losing their faith. But this man said, God, teach us to number our days. We want to pray tonight. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, Lord, help me. Teach me to number my days, oh, God. Not just to live my life anyhow, the way people, other people are living their life, without as if there is as if they don't know what they are doing, we want to cry to God. Can we please lift up our voices unto God tonight and say, God, teach me, Lord. Teach me, Lord, to, to number my days, O God. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's open our mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let them, we need to pray. If Moses can pray that kind of prayer, 
You and I, what level of righteousness have you attained? What level of holiness have you attained? We need to pray. Oh God, teach us to number our days. Great God, teach us to number our days. We need your help, oh God. Help us once again to number our days. Teach us, oh great God. Help us once again, oh God, to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Open your mouth and begin to pray to not virgin. It's time to really see the face of God. If you are there online, please open your mouth and pray. The Lord will give you the grace. The Lord will give you the strength. The Lord will give you the driving force and the passion to really pray and call upon the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. And say, God, oh Lord, teach me to number my days, O oh God, that I may apply my heart unto wisdom, O oh God. Almighty oh, God, I'm asking my Father once again tonight. Heavenly Father, God, teach me to number my days. Teach me, O oh great God, my Father once again, O oh Lord. Teach us once again, O King of Glory, to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, God, our eyes upon you, God. Please help us once again. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are. Pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I need to let you know this, brethren. Why I'm being moved to for us to pray this prayer tonight. If you look at what is happening, some of our, you know, uh, you know, God's general. One after the other, many of them are going home, one after the other. Let me mention just, just but a few. A few days ago, our church secretary, former church secretary in Lagos, our beloved pastor, late pastor, Anna, uh, Pastor Anna Duse, a pastor to glory. Not only that, recently, you heard about Paul, uh, Pastor Paul Young Cho. He passed on to glory. Sometimes ago, we equally heard about Evangelist Ria Bonke. He passed on to glory. One after the other, all these God's general, they are going home one by one. Do you take your time to analyze it and to check up one or two things? And there are some also that we don't even know. And they are there. One way or the other, they are going home. We want to pray for ourselves, brethren. We want to tell the Lord, how are we going to end this journey? How are we going to finish our race? How are we going to end it? We want to pray to God and say, God, help me. Help me to finish it well. Help me to end my journey well. To end in righteousness. To end it in the Spirit. To end it in holiness to end it at the feet of Christ. When Stephen was about going, you know, people were stoning him. They stoned him to the point that Stephen began to pray for all his persecutors. He said, Lord, lay not this charge unto them. Do you know the prayer of that man really worked and even brought about the salvation of all the apostles? We want to pray for ourselves tonight. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, Lord, Help us, O oh God. Just a few days ago, just about two weeks ago, I heard about a young man, a family friend, and uh, we were told that he slept and he did not wake up again. How old was he? Just 38. And I was asking myself, this thing that happened to this person, equal as, as well happened to anybody, we want to pray for ourselves. Lord, help me, O oh God. I want to finish my race successfully. I want to finish it well. We want to open our mouth and call upon the Lord tonight, brethren. Please open your mouth and pray. If you feel concerned, you will pray with all your heart. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let's talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. I'm not hearing us praying, brethren. Let's open our mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. And say, God, help me once again, O oh God, to finish it well. Apostle Paul said, he said, I have finished my race. I have finished my course. 
Oh, there lay before me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord will give unto me, and to all that, you know, hold on that believe on him. Why don't you open your mouth and pray tonight, and say, God, help me once again, oh God. I want to finish it well. I want to finish in holiness. I want to finish in righteousness. I want to finish in faith. Many of them, they are going generally, they are going up one after the other. Why don't you open your mouth and say, God, give me grace to finish it well. Be great to finish this assignment well. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord and say, God, help us, O oh God. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to ask the Lord. We want to pray once again, brother. We want to tell the Lord and say, God, satisfy us early with thy mercy. We need the mercy of God as we journey along. Mercy and the grace of God. Mercy and the grace of God. Without the grace of God, how can we how can we overcome in the battle of life? Without the grace of God, how can we triumph over all those all those all those all those enemies of the faith? Without the grace of God, how do we overcome? How do we how do we triumph over all the powers of darkness, all the forces of air? We want to pray tonight and say, God, release your grace upon our lives. Grace and mercy. Shall we open our mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight? Grace for the battle. Great to run the race. Great to finish it well. Great to triumph over life adversities and problems. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. The Bible says about, about the apostles, he said, great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them all. You can pray. You can pray tonight. And say, God, I want abundant grace. Great grace. Let it flow into my life tonight. Great grace. Let it flow into my soul tonight. Great grace. Let it flow upon our life tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. The Lord begin to release his grace into our soul, into our heart, into our life. Into our mind, into our spirit, into every area of our life. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are you satisfied with your present life? Why don't you open your mouth? Don't be like this. Sir. You said, I have, I have enough. You don't have enough. Enough. You say, I have enough. Oh, we need more of the grace of God. We need more of the presence of God. We need more of the mercy of God. We need more of the anointing of God. We need more of the fire of God upon our altar. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Oh Lord, help me once again, oh God. Release that grace upon our life, oh God, tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, right on God, in mountain God, more of your grace, oh God, the grace of God upon my soul, the grace of God in my spirit, the grace to live a righteous life, the grace to live a holy life, the grace to triumph over life advances and problems. We want to thank God, oh Lord, let that grace come upon our lives, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, everlasting Father, Almighty God, we get to release that grace upon our lives, upon the soul. Mighty God, in Jesus' name. Pray, pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Let's pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The grace of God in our soul, in our spirit. You will not be tired. You will not be weary. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I'm not hearing our amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Apostle Paul was speaking in Ephesians chapter 6, in verse 10. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Brethren, we want to ask God tonight, O oh Lord, make us to work stronger and stronger. Make us work stronger and stronger. You work stronger in your spirit. You work stronger in prayer. You work stronger in the work of the Lord. You work stronger in your service unto God. You work stronger in vigil. You work stronger in the study of the word of God. You work stronger in evangelism. We want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, make me to work stronger and stronger. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Turn into prayer, my brethren. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 
There is no time, no time for weariness, no time for cold, for coldness. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every form of coldness in our life, every form of, dry, of dryness and sadness, oh Lord, let your spirit and power begin to turn our weakness into strength tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name, upon the Lord. And say, God, make me strong, oh God. I want to walk stronger, stronger, stronger in prayer. Stronger in evangelism, stronger in the study of the word of God, stronger in my service unto you. I want to serve you acceptably with grace in my hand, with strength and power. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, be once again in our life tonight, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and make this to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. And say, God, oh Lord, make me to walk stronger and stronger. Every day by day, oh God. Oh God, every day by day. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Oh Lord, keep me growing higher every day. Oh Lord, keep me praying more every day. Oh Lord, keep me going higher every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing higher every day. Higher every day, oh keep me growing higher. Keep me growing higher. Keep me growing higher every day. I have every day who oh, keep me growing. I am higher, keep me growing. I am higher, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing higher every day. I have every day. Oh, keep me growing higher. Keep me growing higher. Keep me growing higher every day. I have every day. Oh, keep me growing higher, higher. Keep me growing higher. Jesus, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day. Jesus, oh Lord, keep me growing. I am every day, I am every day, oh, keep me growing, I am, keep me growing, I am, keep me growing, I am every day, I am every day, keep me growing, I am Jesus, keep me growing, I am, keep me growing, I am every day. We want to pray tonight, we want to call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says, it said, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Brethren, we want to pray that God keep me growing, O Lord. Lord, add value to my life, O God. I want to grow in grace. I want to grow in strength. I want to grow in prayer. I want to grow in the word of God. I want to grow in, my, in every area of my life, even in Christian virtues. You want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, keep me growing. 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 Oh Lord, keep me praying. Oh Lord, keep me studying the word of God every day by day. Oh Lord, keep me on the firing line. Open your mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. Are you satisfied, my brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. And say, God, keep me growing. Keep me growing, oh Lord. I don't want to have a strong dead growth. I want to grow in grace. I want to grow in faith. I want to grow in the grace of God. I want to grow in the word of God. I want to grow.
grow in the power of his spirit. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight and say, Lord, keep me growing. Oh, Lord, keep me growing. Oh, Lord, keep me growing. Oh, Lord, keep me growing. To be steadfast, to be unmovable, always and constantly abiding and abounding in the work of the Lord. No matter the, no matter the wind that is blowing, oh, God, help me. Oh, Lord, pray to me. In my fasting life, oh, Lord, keep me growing. In fasting, keep me growing. Oh, Lord, in prayer, keep me growing. In evangelism, keep me growing. Oh, Lord, help me once again, oh, God. The body for soul, give us the body. The Hold it to pray for souls. Oh Lord, release this upon everyone tonight. Oh Lord, let the body come upon our hearts. Let the seal to pray. Let it come upon everyone tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying, brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name, we are praying. Amen. 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 The Bible says, For we Amen. wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Brethren, we want to wrestle. We want to contend. We want to pray. We want to call upon the Lord tonight. And say, God, all the forces of darkness, gate of hell, gate of witches and wizards, powers of hell, militating against our spiritual life, militating against our wives, militating against our husbands, militating against our children. We want to pray and say, God, all the powers, all the forces of darkness, fighting against the ministry that you have committed to our hands, we want to ask God and say, Lord, arise tonight, let them be scattered. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Scatter them by fire tonight. Scatter them by fire tonight. Are you praying, my brethren? Open your mouth and begin to pray. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violence take it by force. Open your mouth and pray. Take it by force tonight. Take it by force tonight. Take your prayer life by force. Take it back once again. All that you have lost in your life, the spirituality that is gone, you want to take it and say, God, I'm getting it back tonight. The power that is gone, you want to take it back and say, God, I'm getting it tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, all the forces of darkness, waging war against your soul, waging war against my life, against your family, you want to pray and say, God, overthrow them tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, for we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principality, all those principalities, all the powers fighting against our members, fighting against our leaders, fighting against the church of the living God. We want to translate God, oh Lord, silence this night. Lord, begin to silence every one of them, all those contending forces, also all those contending forces, all those powers fighting against our soul. And they are saying, no, you are not going to get your kingdom of blessing, and you are not going to get to where you are supposed to be. We want to pray and say, God, arise tonight, oh God. Every strong good of the devil will pull them down. Begin to pull them down. Begin to pull them down. To pull it down tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, Lord, arise. Every strong good of the enemy collapse. In the name of Jesus Christ, every strong good of carelessness in the church, every strong good of lukewarmness in the church, Every strong good of emptiness and dryness in the church, we want to pull it down, pull it down, pull it down, brethren, open your mouth and begin to pull it down. I'm expecting to pray more. Pull it down, pull it down, pull it down tonight. In the life of your wife and your children, every strong good of the weekend, we pull it down tonight. We pull it down tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every satanic strong good. In our family life, we pull it down. Every demonic strong good, in our all our churches, oh God, we command everything to be to fall flat. Let the wall of Jericho, let them begin to fall flat tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every strong God of coldness and lukewarmness in the house of God, in the church of God, oh Lord, tonight, oh God, we command everything to collapse. In the mighty name of Jesus, every strong God of carelessness, every strong God of weaknesses and weakness in the 
the life of your children, we command everything tonight. Let them begin to receive the fire of God tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, arise tonight and defend your people tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to pray to my brethren. This year is going to an end. Little by little is gradually going to an end. And our, some of our brethren are still there. Since the beginning of this year, they have been crying. Some of them are saying, I, is, has God forgotten me? In that particular situation they find themselves, that particular problem, maybe they have been looking up to God for the fruit of the womb, marrying for one year, two years, three years, five years, ten years, no child, fifteen years, no child. Ah, we want to cry to God. Lord, remember your people tonight. As the year is coming to an end, some of our sisters and brothers who are of age to have gotten married, and yet there is a barrier, there is a stronghold that has been standing against them. Each time they go for this one, it fails. Each time they go for that one, they fail. Each time they lay hand on this one, they fail. In business, the same thing. We want to ask God and say, God, whatever may be the, 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 all those obstacles, all the barriers that have been standing against the success of these our brethren that have been hindering them from getting married or from getting the fruit of the womb or settling down or making progress in their individual life, in their family life, we want to pray. All those barriers tonight, let God begin to clear them out of the way. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let God arise tonight and clear all those barriers, all those storms, all those roadblocks that the enemy has created that arise. Oh Lord, clear them out of the way. Clear them out of the way, oh God. Let there be a divine intervention. Are we praying, brethren? Please open your mouth and pray. If you know the enemy, please pray for all our brethren in all our churches, at the district level, at the local government level, at the group, at the group level, in fact, at the central level, many of our brethren going to one challenge or the other. We want to pray and say, God, you are the problem solver. You have the solution to every man's problem. Begin to solve the problem. Is the problem of poverty in the family? Oh God, every strong good of penury, every strong good of poverty. Let everything come to an end, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, after all you said, but my God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory. By God, Jesus, oh God, remember your promise once again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. There shall be no parent in our land. There shall be no parent in our land. There shall be no parent in our land. The number of our death is said is going to fulfill. No premature death, open your mouth and begin to pray. No premature death, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. And say, God, this is the people, this is the people of your heritage once again. This is your people once again, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's open Open our mouth and call upon the Lord tonight. Asking the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, please sit us. Oh Lord, please once again. Oh Lord, give this testimony, oh God. In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please, I want you to listen to this prayer request. The prayer is this. As the year is coming to an end, little by little, you are going to pray, O oh God, for us that are on this platform, and for all those who are close to us, all our family members, all the church members, all our brethren affiliated with us in all our district churches, this year it will end in praise. Did you hear what I said? The, the I said will end in praise. Year, it will hand in praise in testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It will not hand in tears. We are not Amen. going to hand this year in tears or in sorrow. Open your mouth and begin Amen. to call up. Turn it to prayer, brethren. Turn it to prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, this year we end in praise for us 
It will end in praise and testimony for everyone, for all our brethren. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. It will not end in sorrow. It will not end in calamity. It will not end in tears. It will not end in affliction. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let's call upon the name of God and say, God, this year, as the year is coming to an end, is going to end in praise. It's going to end in testimony. It's going to end in goodness and, and favor of God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Goodness and mercy will follow us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Every garment of sorrow will tear them into pieces. Every garment of sickness will tear them into pieces. Every garment of affliction will tear them into pieces. We burn them into ashes. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every garment of sorrow and sadness will tear them into pieces. Every garment of family death, every garment of premature death, we command everything right now be torn into pieces and be consumed by the fire of God. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Oh God, we want to get, oh God, this year we end in praise for us. This year we end in testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it's going to be a moment of celebration. It's going to be a moment of the law, of celebration, the law. It's going to be a moment even of, of testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I don't know, is Pastor Mike online? Yes, sir. Yes. Is Pastor Mike online? He's online. Yes, sir. Okay, please help us round up this section before Pastor Matthew will take over. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, we talk the glory unto you for the way you have led us this evening. We have prayed on our spiritual life. We have prayed to in our family. We have prayed that this year we will not end this year in summer, but we will end this year mm-hmm. in praise. We have confessed to God that it is in Jesus' name. Father, we have prayed that we have spoken, oh Father, for the thanksgiving service. Oh Lord, I pray more than what you have done, oh God, in our lives. You will do even far more in Jesus' name. Father, we are praying for this mission. That is the Lord. You will make it a success. You will make it real. You will make it powerful. You will make it wonderful. You will make it heaven bound. You will make it, oh God, spiritual. You will make it, oh God, a time. We will come together and we will laugh. We will smile. We will rejoice in your presence. And our joy will be bound in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, because we will turn all the glory unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Uh, Over to Pastor Matthew, sir. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. uh, I was able to speak to Pastor Dada about three days ago on the Thanksgiving. Uh, As I said, you know how busy he is. In fact, he said for him to remember, I need to send the last year recording to him. So he has not responded to me that if he has listened to it or not. But I know what to do. I will just send it to one, two of his left and right. I know those people will listen to it and they will, will help you. They will help you push him. Uh, God will help us in Jesus' name. Apart from that, I see that the Thanksgiving date here is... Uh, I'm coming. It's uh, November 25. Instead of the 20 something, I was thinking. Instead of 19 or something, I was thinking it was November 25. Then another thing came to my mind. The one we did with Pastor Dada last year was in December. Uh, no matter what the case may be, if he accepts our invitation for November. Uh, 28, uh, we appreciate it. But one thing that is giving me concern now, which I want all of us to think about is that it will be 9 o'clock in Nigeria and 3 o'clock here or that Sunday. So, and I want everybody to attend more than the way we have been attending, including our friends, including any other person we may know. So, should we go ahead with 3 o'clock 
in United States at nine o'clock in Nigeria. There's nothing we can do do with that one. Even if it is in December, it will be the same thing because that's the, the that's the uh, time difference now between us and Nigeria. Is it is it on Sunday, sir? It will be on Sunday. Okay, nine p.m. Yes, nine p.m. Okay, it's okay. Uh, okay. So I will sir. continue to follow, sir. Sir, is it Sunday? Sunday is it not twenty nine? Twenty. Uh, so that Sunday will be. I'm coming. The Thanksgiving year, I I didn't take that Thanksgiving day here because it always be a busy day for everybody. So I take Sunday that follow the Thanksgiving. So the Thanksgiving day will be November 25. So Sunday Sorry, that sir, follow it. Sorry, sir. Today is 14. Yeah. Which of, which of the November are you talking about? November what? November 25. 25, okay. Yeah, it has been Thanksgiving year. I told Lord about, about well, Pastor Peter who can able to explain to us better. Thanksgiving year in the United States is a day. United States declare no work, nothing, eating turkey, eating chicken, go and greet your grandmother, do a lot of things. Not something, just to thank God for what God has been doing for the United States. Nothing more, nothing mm. else. My dear brother, it's a special thing. When a country yeah. declares a day, that nothing more, nothing less on that day, all what they want to do is just to thank God. Mm. Then you see how people, at least, at least we don't receive thinking, uh, Turkey on that day, we receive today. BBB Tokyo. I will pass on how much I want to see it. Big, big, Turkey. You will see they will give us from the churches. They will give us from the... Uh, uh, for, for people who are capable. They will give for us. Then we too. Like my wife, she will cook. She will distribute around the... In the environment. Then we that will always go to the... Uh, to the places to collect food for people. The last year, they gave for more than 60 Turkey. To distribute to the people free. Hmm. Be, be, be gone. Not the one that the one that will be coming and you will run away. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> you can you can <laughs> you can read, you can look at this. So but that's what that's part of what I see that makes United States great. That's what I was saying. Although they say Canada too, they do it. But that's what I see that makes, you know, then all the big corporations on that day, they will declare from 9 to 12 o'clock or day before then, or morning that follow it. They will go to their shop, something they are selling for $100, they may say we should buy it for $20. Just to praise God for what God is doing for United States. So that's part of the strength of United States. Uh, I pray that even if Nigeria cannot do it, uh, we can do it in our church with the pastors that this Sunday uh, we declare a Thanksgiving day. You can feast. I'm just suggesting, you know, I'm not a leader. I'm very sorry. But that's how it will, I will, I'm feeling. That in the evening, let everybody bring food. Those who are going to bring Amala, those who are going to bring two wood, those who are going that, that they all what we want to do is just to praise the name of the Lord. And then I know God is going to help us in Jesus' name. So if we need to start from somewhere, I think uh, when uh, our leader realized that, our former leader, he starts uh, Nigeria Peace. Nigeria Peace instead of Facebook. But I know Nigeria Peace is going far, but God will continue to help us in Jesus' name. So uh, I, I will say all that one. So let, we will take the Sunday that, uh, the Sunday will be. 28. That Sunday will be 28. I will keep talking to him so that I will know if he's going to be with us on that day. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And I want everyone of us to prepare to receive blessing from him. He has been a blessing to me. He has been a blessing to me. I don't know where I will have been. Uh, but the grace of the Lord will be with him in Jesus' name. More than Amen. three times I've slept in your house. Uh, recently, I told us about a million testimony. I don't want to go far so that it won't be um, 
But that is lots of things like that. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will use him to break the yoke for every one of us on that day in Jesus' name. And then to our special prayer request uh, that we can send that to him, especially we, Pastor, let me know. It's a more of us burden that we always put us burden. And uh, I will share a testimony for us about a man in the, in the church. I want to tell also that we can prepare. This man, Pastor Dada, one of our pastors in Maryland, Pastor Dada went to his house and then he met them. They couldn't pay their bill. He was so annoyed. That's the way he was annoyed to me, I mean, with my, uh, my, with my property. The first day he met me. He didn't say more than anything. He said, and God will raise your head up in the ministry. That's all what he said. He was so annoyed with poverty with, uh, in my life. So he went to this small house, I one for a pastor. I can mention the name, uh, uh, what is uh, Pastor Daniel. So uh, I'm sorry to mention the name. I, was, I just want to prove how God used him. Then when he got to his house, the, in fact, the pastor couldn't pay the the, NEPA, the electricity electricity bill. So, uh, pastor, that I was so annoyed. <laughs> he just say, "What's happening?" The pastor, I think he said, and then he said, "Okay, you certificate, go and uh, go." I mean, I can never able to say it the way you say it, but what he said that you certificate, go and bring bring him money. Simple as ABC, and then he left. My dear brother, uh, my dear pastors in the Lord, that pastor has donated more than fifty thousand dollars in the church for different things. Mm. I want to see this. I know him personally. You know, the day he came to my house, he didn't want to. He didn't want me to enter his car because of the way the car is dirty. You get what I'm saying? I know him personally. And I know him now, and if you want to know what I'm saying, look at the history I've told you. Go and look at the, the story. Uh, type on the Facebook. Type Pastor Daniel Omolola. Write it down. I only mention name so that I, I, to let you know I know what I'm saying. Write Pastor Daniel Omolola. Write it down. Just look at him on Facebook now. Recent picture he put. Then look at the story I told you. But if God can do that kind of things in the life of those people, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ is going to do it in our own life too in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our own will not be an exception in Jesus' name. So, I will say that, that we agree on the 28th. Please, let's invite our old pastor that for, I want them to be there to meet him. Uh, new, uh, our new pastor, Olu Femi, uh, 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 please let them meet him and all other pastors we know that have been assisting us, even the one we do not know they are in the ministry, or all our friends, let them meet him on that day. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God is going to use him mightily for us in Jesus' name. Uh, Amen. Anything, please let me know. I think the coordination is on Pastor Omar Rigi now. Um, immediately Pastor Omar Rigi able to draft the program very well. We can put it on platform for us, the platform, and I can send it to him too to see. And this is the this is the the, the, uh, the time of uh, internet revival, so I know he will be very happy. And they, I send the last year uh, one to him to let him see how successful uh, it was. So the grace of the Lord be with us in Jesus' name. Uh, for the YouTube, we have four. For the Zoom, we have five. For the uh, freeconference.com, we have five. So that means we are 14, maybe probably more than that. On the But that's the register one from all those machines we are using. And I want to challenge all our leaders. Um, anytime you have a program, please like now, Pastor Omore and Pastor Christopher, we have not been seeing them. I know Pastor Christopher is a senior pastor. But no matter what the case may be, they can help us to be publicizing the program. You know, it's like you want to have a retreat, you are inviting people. The more you make the publicity, the more the people will be coming. So before, I think today, too, I'm still making it. If you look at my YouTube, nothing more, than, nothing more there than all this publicity. 
so that we keep announcing it. But one thing is about people is that when thing, when it becomes familiarity, when there's too much familiarity, they don't respect it. So maybe if it comes from another angle, another angle, uh, Pastor Omari, we always try, but it's only be along that maybe it remain tomorrow morning. Pastor Shegun, I can't blame, uh, them. I don't know the the area and then the kind of the machine they have, including the set uh, for the Facebook or Zoom. But all of us, please let us try to be do more publicity. And uh, I remember there was a night prayer uh, we always do it in United States. When Pastor Dada see that the program, the program want to die, what he did is that every day, you know, this more than 100 program, 100 people on the line, more than 100, he will, he will send it to every pastor. That this program must not die. This one until revival come back to that program. So God will help us in Jesus' name. And those are the leaders we are looking forward to. Uh, the grace of the Lord will be upon every one of us in Jesus' name. Uh, I often say that there is something that comes to my mind when the pastor uh, Shegun was leading me. They say, uh, the Bible only revives ego. When it wants to come to an enemy, uh, when it comes to how ego somebody is very strong. But we will call upon the name of the Lord. In the book of Second Samuel, Chapter one, verse twenty-three. The book of Second Samuel, chapter one. He say, "In life they were loved. I mean, Saul and Jonathan. In life they were loved and admired, and in death they were not parted. They were swifter than eagle. They were stronger than lion." That's one prayer point. The Almighty Father, in all area of my life, in my matrimonial home. In my uh, ministry, in my financial situation, we know lion. Any animal that we say lion is not an animal, we are, it's not strong enough that you can just joke with lion, we know that it's going to face a challenge. So we call upon the name of the Lord. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, give me strength in my ministry. Give me strength. In my financial situation, the story of last year must not repeat itself in my life again in the name of Jesus Christ. Even if you are billionaire last year, which is this year, and we are coming to 2022, you must be multi billionaire the next year by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you are a thousandaire in this year, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, the next year we are moving to it. We must be multi thousandaire in the name of in the name of Jesus Christ. And then there was a when I was reading the Bible. Look at in the book of Deuteronomy 28 49. It said, The lion will bring a nation against you from far away, from the end of the earth, like an eagle swooping down, a nation whose language you will not understand. Any enemy, either for my family, either for whatsoever, either for my place of work, the other for my friend. The one I know, the one that I do not know. Info from my mat- matrimonial uh, uh, status. Any enemy that wants to sweep me like an ego by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, face them with your anger in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's pray. The Almighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in my ministry, in all areas of my life. In my financial situation, in all areas of my life, in my physical situation, in all areas of my life, in my matrimonial mode, in all areas of my life, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, oh mighty Father, make me strong like you in the name of Jesus Christ. Make me strong like you in the name of Jesus Christ. When we are talking about life, when we are talking about power, when we are talking about strength, no animal ever play with you. Thank 
but to live on the only altar of righteousness. If you are the man, what is me? In the name of Jesus, Father, we will do something new in my life, Lord. Father, we will do something new in my life, Lord. Father, we will do something new in my life, Lord. Father, we will do something new in my life, Lord. Father, we will do something new in my life, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Is it in financial aspect? Is it in the ministry aspect? Is it in at home aspect? Is it in a physical aspect? I want you now, the, the, the other child, we call it only spirit anger. Does it only spirit anger? When only spirit anger comes, he changes things, he doesn't listen. You know, Jesus Christ is very, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, Almighty God, is, uh, is, a, he, he is a law that sympathizes. But when only, only God just listen to instruction from Almighty God, listen for instruction from, 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 from God, from Jesus Christ. And then when the instruction is going, only Holy Spirit are fulfilled. I mean, obey the instruction and do it. So you see the other child, they say, only anger. You will call upon the name of the Lord. All things that is not appropriate in everybody's life, financially, in marriage, physical, be business to so all in our ministry. Everything that is not okay. Use that anger of Holy Spirit. Use the capacity of ego. I mean, in spiritual. To help us battle in this afternoon in the name of Jesus Christ. That everything from this moment, just because we agree together and things are going to change for all, positively in the name of Jesus Christ. Those people who are in, in first step, they will go to the higher step. Those people who are in higher step, they will go to higher of higher. And the grace the Lord will abide with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Offer to you either Pastor Peter or Pastor Shego. Anyone of you, sir? Hello? Hello, can anyone hear me? We are hearing you. Uh, but no response to the Jesus name we pray. That's what I'm thinking. What was hearing? Maybe we didn't hear you. We are just hearing you now. Okay. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for your love and your kindness towards us. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for the privilege given unto us thank to you, be Lord. part of your people. 
who will carry on the flag of internal life at this time. Thank we you, exhort on him for all that you have been doing. Thank we you, say glory, honor, adoration, thanksgiving be unto your name, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for the thanksgiving that is coming up in the United States. O Lord, God, now we pray that as we are planning, that on the 28th, we will have our own 9 o'clock Nigeria time. Father, we pray that your hand will rest upon us. You help us that all that we need to put in place so that that day will be a success. Grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, commit our Father and the Lord, Pastor, that that Lord into your hands. We pray, O Lord, that you will so help us that out of his tight schedule, you will be able to give us some time to be with us at this time of celebration, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, thank you for the success story. We are here among the brethren. We pray that the grace for us to continue till the end, you grant to every one of us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All our leaders, that because I think it cut off. Pastor Barney? Yes, sir. You can round off for us. Round it off for us. Okay. Heavenly Father, we are showing appreciation and okay. gratitude at the end of the day. Who are we Christians? Because we want to make help. Lord, help us. Amen. Help us, Lord God, mighty God, that at the end of the day we will make heaven. Was Amen. Help us to make heaven. Whatsoever will help us to make heaven, give it unto us. Whatsoever will prevent us to make heaven, make heaven not take it away. Amen. Amen. So at the end of the day, when they say, you know, when they say, we our children will not be missing. I will not be missing. Amen. Some of the pastors will miss it. Amen. So Thank you, Lord. We thank you that it's a privilege to pray. We thank you that we are to pray. We thank you, bless your holy name, Lord. You will not get tired. Well, we are we have it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Continue to energize us and give us a spirit of prayer. And in fact, we want to grow in every area of our life. Lord, take us higher to a higher ground in our prayer life. Amen. We thank you, God, in God's way, God, that is our prayer. Well, oh, yes. Whatever you desire, when you pray, believe. You believe that, Lord, Lord our prayer has been answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless all men. Let us meet in the night. It will be uh, your time, seven to eight. It will be, the time has moved for down. It will be one o'clock midnight, United States. But by the grace of the Lord, all of us shall be there in Jesus' name. Let me Amen. see in all our all our internet uh, whatsoever. God will help us. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Let's share the Thank you. God sir. bless you all. Thank you, sir. Let's share the Praise grace. the Lord. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. God. And, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us forevermore. And forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, of our life. And, we life. and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. I don't. I don't reject any suggestion, anything. Please, if there's anything in our mind, please let me know uh, how we can grow both spiritually, physically, and anything. Please, let me know. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hello, sir. Before we go, please. Sir. Hello? Are we hearing you, sir? Okay. I don't know what's happening to my network. It's going off and on. But all the same, I want uh, to appreciate God. Today, I left to Ibadan. This morning, I just came back this night, shortly before the prayers. My daughter, that is my twin. You know, the brother I graduated last year. She graduated today. 
Amen. So they fixed it on today. That, is, that was what me and my family went for today in Ibadan. I just want to bless the name of the Lord. And I want the brethren to help me thank the Lord too. Then secondly, sir, when I connect to this uh, freeconference.com, yes, he's saying the number is going to change. Thank you. Thank the you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, so what are we going to do about that, sir? Just, just, just write the number down. I've been trying to write it down. I'm coming. I think I wrote it down. It's like CC. Six, Seven seven seven, so zero one four seven six. I'm not very really sure, but well, please, anytime you call the number again, call, uh, please help me to write it down. So okay. that's what to hit the 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 number. There's no big deal. Instead of the number we are calling before, we are going to be calling this one. Okay. So, there's no big deal. Okay. okay. And the assets could remain the same thing. Our assets could remain the same. Okay. 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 Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, we continue to be with you. Sure, we eat the fruit Amen. of your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm. Amen. Uh, we, 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 uh, we talk to Pastor. I uh, wish he be online in the in the night. I uh, will talk to Pastor uh, Omar Ewa to help us and during the time time giving for the children. For you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless you.